Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, what we have in front of us, guys, is the last of the round two Rosecraft Blades knife releases. And when I say round two, I'm talking modern and traditional slip joints. You know, they, they're they kind of putting them out. That's kind of the way Andy's been talking about them. Round one, round two. Well, round two is now done. This is the Kefara, or Kefara, the Rhino. Now, I showed you, uh, it's been eh, probably a few days ago, but you saw this guy. This was the last of the traditional slip joints. This, of course, is the Okoi River Kayak, which is, this is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous knife. The way the bone has taken that, well, the red apple bone, I should say. That's what it's being called. But this was the last traditional slip joint, and the Kifara is the last of the moderns of round two. Now, don't be afraid. Round three is well in progress. But let's take a look at this guy. Like I said, this is the Kifara, also known as the Rhino. Now, you've got black micarta scales. There's two different versions. Uh, both of them have black micarta scales. This one obviously has the red accents, and the other version has gray accents on it. You know, the gray pivot collar. And I'm guessing it's kind of hard to tell by the pictures, but I guess we're just talking, you know, regular silver stonewashed-ish thumb studs on it. But you've got a deep carry pocket clip. Very good. That's pretty deep. You might have a little bit peeking out of your pocket. We'll check that out. Recess pocket clip screws is very cool. Now, the one thing you will notice is this is actually a four position clip. You can have it right, left, tip up, tip down. You can carry this thing just about any way you want to. Take the pocket clip off, pocket drop it, have a slip made for it or a belt. It's, it's yeah, you can do pretty much everything with this knife, which is cool. I like that. You've got a lanyard slot there, we'll call it. Open construction. Let's check out that centering. Centering is pretty darn good on it. Now, I'll be, guys, I have been hanging on to this knife since Blade Show. Yes, Blade Show Atlanta, the beginning of June. I've been waiting to show you this knife. But hey, it's here. It's We're talking about it. Oh, uh, you do have some contouring going on on those scales, which is very nice. Excellent. Not flat scales, contoured scales. Now, you'll see. Well, we'll just open it. You've got a flipper tab. Does not have any, you know, uh, jimping on the flipper tab, but it's okay. Oh, look, the birdie. Uh, you guys know I like doing that to you. A dual thumb stud deployment. Now, it snaps out really nice on those thumb studs. The detent is pretty good all around. For me, it's probably, I get a better feel for the detent through the thumb studs. It's not bad on the flipper either, honestly. It, it, it's not, but it just, to me, it jumps out a little bit better um, from those thumb studs. Uh, you know what? It's funny. I just said honestly. I had a comment the other day. It says, you know, when you say honestly, it makes things less believable. It's like, well, if you don't believe me, why are you watching? Because, anyway. But, detent is not bad. Not bad at all. Like I said, it feels a little bit better through the thumb studs to me. Uh, liner lock, of course. You've pretty much, oh, I think you're, wow, that's really hard to tell. You might be just shy of full engagement of that lock bar, but you're sitting at pretty close to 50% lockup, which is really nice. It, it's nice, solid, no wiggle, no wobble. There you go. That is RCM015. Now, this one is a D2 blade. This is not RPM9. This is D2. Nice stonewash finish. You've got a Tanto blade with a nice swedge on it. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, why did you pick up a Tanto knife? You know, when Tantos really aren't your favorite. Ergonomics, guys. I'll just say that. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But nice stonewash on it. Very good. Nice choil. Now, it doesn't come out quite past the plunge. But our grinds seem pretty good. Grinds look pretty good. Yeah, thumb studs. They're pretty much out of your cutting path. You might hit it by, well, yeah, you're going to hit it by just a little bit. They're in the corner. 
you're going to get a little bit of the cutting path. So, yeah, it nothing too major, but it does just a little bit. But action on it, ceramic bearings. Action is pretty good. You got a good initial drop. Maybe just a quick shake shut. You know, get some slick them all or your favorite lube in there. You know, it just might be a full dropper all the way. You never know. I have not, all again, I have not altered this knife in any way, shape, or form before I show it to you. Other than I've just been waiting a while to show it to you. But that's what happens sometimes. Nothing major. So, all right, let's get, let's get our spec check out of the way. So, what do we have here? We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, almost full eight inches. I mean, yeah, we're right there. We're right there at eight inches. Looking about a four and a half inch handle, maybe slightly more. So just under. Pardon me. Uh, you didn't hear it, but it happened. Yes, I had to sneeze. I'm sorry. Three and a half inches on the cutting edge. Yeah. Pretty much just shy of, just shy of three and a half inches. So, uh, grip length overall. Alrighty, just, you gotta love having a sneezing fit right in the middle of when you're trying to do a video. It happens, guys, it happens. But, anyway, grip length, you're looking at about, at right about four inches. I mean, you can see there, I have plenty left over, really good grip, and plenty of room left for my hand so a little bit larger hands should do okay okay get our size comparisons out there there you go there's the pm2 and oh there it is bug out much bigger than the bug out much i guess and then you know what i'll just throw up this one because we've seen this one in the very recent past. The Tarcanis. Now both of these are Andy Armstrong designs. Gives you an idea. And well, you know what? I got it out here. So we're just going to do it. Because ha, I'm going to put this thing on screen as much as possible. Because it's gorgeous. There you go. That's how it sizes up against the Okoye River Kayak. Which is, once again... An absolutely gorgeous knife. All right, let's get a weight on this guy. I think it said 3.7. I think that's what it said. Okay, 3.8. Roger that. We're in there. Definitely in there. Now we'll get our pocket. Check our pocket check. Now the one thing I have noticed with some of these knives is the clip is kind of tight. Now that one's not too bad, but... And it does disappear in that pocket. You don't have a whole lot sticking out there. Definitely good retention on the clip. Like I said, I mean, it's got a decent ramp to it, but it's a little tight. Not terrible. And it's much better if you're actually, you know, over the top of it, like you're actually wearing the jeans and pushing it down in your pocket. A little bit easier that way. So... The one thing I mentioned before was ergonomics. This knife feels absolutely fantastic in my hand. Absolutely 100%. That is why I picked this one up. Yes, Tantos really aren't my favorite blade style. They're, they're just, it's just not. Do they have their use? Absolutely. Pretty much, you know, this will probably get some. Pretty much any blade with, or any blade that is a sharpened edge on it has a use. You can open a package, you can do whatever. But yeah, I understand. Tantos have a very useful blade shape. Just not my favorite. But the ergos on this knife. Oh, man. Feels absolutely fantastic in my hand. And that was pretty much the whole reason why I picked up this knife. Good access to your lock bar. Don't really have to dig down into it. Good access, like I said, that contoured scales that just adds to the ergonomics. The clip is not even remotely an issue for me. It just, my hand lands absolutely perfect. You know, if you have a little bit larger hand and you might come out here on, on that higher part, okay, I can understand that. But as my hand lands, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, choking up on this one, yeah, 
yeah, probably not. I'm probably not going to be doing that. Because as you can see, I am well into, I'm kind of staying back on the flipper too. And I am well into that blade. So yeah, choking up. Mm, no, probably not going to happen. But, you know, if you're a Tanto fan, you know, if you're just a comfortable knife fan, let's be honest, a comfortable knife fan, this is a very, very comfortable knife for me. I, I No issues using this. Whether I'm a Tanto fan or not, I would have no issues using this knife to do just about anything. It is that comfortable in my hand, so... And, guys, don't forget, while well, uh, this one is selling for uh, $66.99, pretty sure that's what it's marked at on the Rosecraft Blades website. As always, when you're shopping on Rosecraft Blades, use the code BIGREADYDC. It saves you 10%. So, in this case, you know, you end up getting this one for right around $60. Bucks. And remember, they do ship to Canada. They do ship to the UK now, which is awesome. Uh, good for them. I'm glad they figured it out. I still haven't, but they do ship. <coughs> and with orders of 75, at least $75, you get free shipping in the U.S. Sorry, not free shipping to Canada or the U.K., but at least they are shipping to those. So that's very cool. So our friends up north and across the pond can have a chance to get a hold of some of these knives, which is very, very cool. Guys, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the Kefara? Or the Rhino. I, I kind of like how they did the names of these. You know, we've had the Rhino. We've had the Bulldog. Some cool names. But let me know down in the comments, like I said, what do you guys think of this one? It, for me, it's an ergonomic... Yeah, there. Two hooks up. Or down. or Not down, not that way. It would, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it that way. Two hooks up. But... Always appreciate you guys stopping by. Andy, if you watch this, cannot wait to see what you come up with next. Uh, looking forward to it. He's had a lot of designs in round two, both modern and traditional, which is cool. Um, interested in seeing some, hopefully, some other designs from uh, the, uh, your other designers. My God. Went blank, of course. Why didn't I? Chase? Yes. Yes. And, yeah, Swags, maybe? More designs from Swags? That'd be cool. But definitely want to see what you come up with in the traditional line. You're killing it, my friend. And pretty much everybody that comments on my videos says the exact same thing. So, thanks a lot, guys. Always appreciate you. Rosecraft Blades, definitely appreciate Andy and the crew. Guys, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.